If I, okay, social walks means walking together, just having a nice walk in company with other dogs because they need company with each other. Okay. Uh, you can do it in two ways, as a precaution to keep your dog social, or, and that's what you start with, uh, as soon as you have a puppy that can do walks. I mean, we don't walk them in the beginning. And then we just start walking them a little, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then puppies can always be off leash together in safe places. Have a, a garden or some fenced in areas or a safe place, a field or something, and just meet there and let the puppies walk. Puppies are okay together if uh, there's not one of them being a bully. That happens, and then we have to do it differently. But most of the time, two, three, four puppies will be fine together if you start just walking a little around. And it doesn't go to, to, you don't use too much time on it. You can also meet in your garden and let them play around there. Of course you can. So, and then social walks is what you start to prevent getting problems later. Parallel walking is a training you do when the dog has a problem and stop the parallel walking when it has started to work so they can be off leash again. So, and social walks with the puppies, off leash if possible. Because puppies are puppies and they, they have so many unpredictable movements that it's not so good for them to be on leash together. They're a little too excited and they can jump and they can hurt themselves. So find the safe place and let the puppies be off leash. If there is one puppy there who is not good, <coughs> take him out of the group and do something else with him. Um, they should be with adult dogs because adult dogs know how things should, should uh, be. So then of course longer as they grow up and can do more. <coughs> Um, two and two, having time to build friendships, so in the beginning you can choose a dog that uh, seems to be good for your dog to be with. And of course different, different dogs, different breeds, different, all kind of different dogs. So, uh, in some cases, you will need to have them on leash, just go together with them. Puppies, mostly off leash if you can, when they get older you can have them on leash and take a walk together. And then, go in different places, more dogs, also free of course. Uh, what we do when we go with them all on leash in the beginning for short walks, we, we should, if possible, have someone with us who can go in splitting up when they get a little bit too much of something, getting a bit upset about something. Splitting up is a really wonderful way. You see the person going in between there, that's the way we do it, just going in quietly with back to the dog and be a barrier between the dog and the other thing he gets upset about and they will they will come down. This is the picture, they see it, it's a visual thing and they understand it because that's what they also do. So Okay, if this was not done enough with the puppy or young dog, you might have or get the problem. And of course, you will need a training program. You have to, to change it, you have to make the dog more social. Uh, and that is when we put up a training program with what we call parallel walking. To help the dog become social again. 
Parallel walking means walking in the same direction with the dogs on leash because walking in the same direction is non-threatening, non-provocative. And they will calm down quite quickly. Necessary distance between them, in some cases all they need is just a few meters. In other times we need uh, much more, depends on the dogs. If they seem really upset about that distance, we just widen the distance. You can walk in a schoolyard, in a field, whatever, and just walk together, same direction. Distance enough between them to feel safe, barrier between the dogs to help them, if you have a barrier to walk there, walking slowly. People walk too fast. And when you walk fast, the dog has to concentrate on following you. I want the dog to concentrate on the important thing, which is the other dog. Give the t dog time to think. Walking in the same direction, the same way, is safe. They will feel it safe. And that's a start, usually. So, here's a couple of people as barriers, just walking in between. A little more distance, depends on the dog. Uh, the absolutely widest distance I ever had to use, well, that was only once, was 300 meters. <laughs> We started with 300 meters. <coughs> Believe me, that dog also became social. Five months later, I saw the dog playing with other dogs. And he became a fabulous uncle to the new puppies in the family. Oh yeah. I wasn't sure at the time if this was possible because it was a very special case, an extreme case. But it happened. And when Biden could become social, I can say with 200% conviction, all dogs can be. Never have a doubt. All dogs can be. That dog had been used as bait for dog fight. So when they found him, he was nearly dead, all torn up by other dogs. So no wonder he was not social. But he learned. I, I knew him all his life actually. It was a great day. And he became 13 years of age, which is a high age for a day. And he was super social all his life. So, never doubt it for a second, because I, I had a doubt then. After that, never again. So, the dog is able, to, he can look at the other dog. That's what he learns from. He can be free to look, can be, can be free to whatever, but he just has to follow you on the leash. Just have the distance there. Looking, understanding, and learning. They need time to read each other and learn. No distractions in that process. No treats. 